Greetings. Today I thought to talk a bit about suicide. It's not the most fun topic to talk about, but it has to be done because ultimately it might save a few lives if we gain a deeper understanding about the causes. And knowing the causes, we can also talk about how to prevent suicide. So basically, let us turn to the primordial truth and what does it say evolutionary? about suicide yes that there is an evolutionary explanation for primarily men killing themselves and that is if it means that the tribe or the social setting has a higher chance of survival without a man he can then in order to increase his tribe's chances of survival he can kill himself so that can be the evolutionary explanation as why some men view it as a better course of action to take their own lives rather than to live on. So it's basically a calculation on I can do more good for my tribe if I am not alive, if I'm not taking resources, etc. So that can be our starting position in viewing suicide. And in today's society, we have a lot of young men who do not feel like they are contributing to their social setting. And that is a bad start if we're talking about mental unhealth to feel that you're not useful, basically. Then, of course, we have a discussion on the physical unhealth because they're too related. If you don't take care of your body, you don't take care of your mind. And add to this, you have a lot of drugs, both um, legal and um, illegal drugs that we have to talk about. But that will be for another video. Now I'm just talking about the evolutionary reasons and the more social reasons for men killing themselves. So basically we know if a man doesn't really have any place, he doesn't feel useful, it can lead to depression and that can, in the worst cases, lead to a suicide. So in preventing a suicide, it's first and foremost necessary to give men a place, to give these young guys a meaning and a purpose so that they can feel like they are working towards a greater goal, they are being part of something. Because only working for yourself, yeah, it can um, be satisfactory in short amounts of time, but in the long term, I don't think it's healthy for a man to feel that he is on his own. Some guys might say that, you know, I'm only doing this for myself and I'm only looking out for myself, but it's a very unnatural thing to do, and this is also my biggest concern with certain guys who are promoting hyper individualism etc because it's not good in the long run for anyone's mental health so basically what society has to stop doing is to vilify uh, these young men uh, saying that their natural urges are something bad so they say toxic masculinity here toxic masculinity there Instead, you should say these are all good urges you have to protect the weak, for example, to become powerful so you can protect the weak. You can talk about going to the gym, saying that is an outlet for outdated, bad and yeah, toxic masculinity. Uh, of course, if you vilify all the things that makes men happy, it will not be a good way forward for them. Because if they can't make themselves happy, if they can't make themselves feel useful, feel good, being able to help others, yeah, then you will lead them into a place where you've taken away their joy derived from masculine endeavors and that is not a good mix in uh, the long run. Because you can only deafen your senses with porn and um, over consumption of video games and bad foods and drugs, marijuana, you can only do it for so long. Ultimately, you come to a point where you actually have to have something higher to strive to watch. So basically, what can be done? Yes, first and foremost, giving men a purpose, giving men a social setting, giving men something to work to watch, giving men something to help with. So keeping that in mind, let us view some of the options you can do if you feel like you um, would like to take your own life. And also if you have someone you know who perhaps do not feel well, uh, please do share this video. So what you can do is simply, first and foremost, look at the biological aspects. Go for a run. Run as fast and as long as you can. Then you might get an endorphin kick. You might feel a bit better. Then go home, have a nice shower, and then go to your local supermarket and 
buy something nice to eat. It might sound really simplistic, it might not be a long-term cure, but it can be a short-term experience that makes you feel good about living that day. Then you might start realizing, yeah, you know what, there are things I can do that I can feel better. Then secondly, find a way to help others. That's the absolutely best way you can deal with your own unhappiness. It's to help others. So sign up for some something. It can be anything. Check out your local community. What can you do for others? And then you feel needed by someone and then you will be happy. Thus satisfying your masculine energy of wanting to be a valued member of the tribe. Then thirdly, do try to find a social setting where you are welcome and where you feel at ease in. This is of course a very hard step, but uh, you can try at least. You can try to join some sort of social milieu where it is possible. Again, it is hard, but that would be a third step along the way. So to conclude, what you can do, first and foremost, look at your biological setting. What are you doing with your body? Are you sleeping well? Are you abstaining from porn? Are you abstaining from drugs? Are you abstaining from alcohol? Are you getting enough training? Are you getting enough fresh air? Are you out in the forest enough? Uh, so ask yourself all of these questions. And if you say, yeah, you know what? I am taking care of myself. Then move on to what can I do to help others? What can I do to help my local community? Can I help some old relative I have or anything like that? Then hopefully you can find someone to help. Then thirdly, find a social setting of your own where you are comfortable. So I hope that brought some insights to the matter at least. I know this was just me scratching on the surface of a very complex topic, but I just had to make this video in case someone stumbles upon it and can get some perspective on it so you can help someone in, um, in need of your uh, assistance. So thank you for watching XXO. Boom.